Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Now I wasn't planning on doing this but there's a few people were actually asking if I could cover some of the um, garage build um, as a little series so I thought yeah why not. So what I'll do, the schools are off, hence why this cheeky little one's here, say hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I'll get the car and I'll have you a wee look around it, basically the starting point. There's boxes everywhere that needs unpacked, there's stuff that needs built and put back up. Um, all of the stuff in the garage now is basically going to stay here, so I'll get some of that storage upstairs. When I say upstairs, I mean above your head. Um, and the sort of the floorboards on the roof. And these shelves behind me, again I'll do a little look around in a minute. They would all be nice, but they just take up too much space, so I'm going to take them down, start with a black canvas and uh, plan what works best for me. So hopefully you get something from this. I know watching it back in years time to come it'll be quite interesting for me so yeah let's get going. Here is my starting point. I've moved a few things, um, bikes, things like that since the last video. That's the garage door that's getting fixed today. Hopefully this can go up there. Cheeky one, follow me about. Um, these shelves here are the shelves that I'm all going to have to take down. That top one along there, I may leave. It just depends on how much room I need, but it might be handy up there to store stuff on. But the bottom ones, all the way along, um, yeah, you can see that's, what's that? Probably a foot and a half space that's taken up. Um, I can use that for something else. Boxes here um, all need unpacked, organised, but filing cabinets, shelf into the belt, um, they'll all get organised once I know what's going where, either along either wall to best suit the cars. This, you can't see for the light, up here, I don't know what the story is behind that. I'm guessing the kids left that behind, but uh, yeah, that's going to have to go. In fact, I'm going to take that down before the uh, shelf in because it kind of looks like it's staring at me. Yeah, that's coming down now. And then my helper is going to help take these three down and the back. It means I can get Elmer pushed back a bit and I can start measuring and planning. But yeah, first to go. That's good straight in the bin. So the next again day, we managed to get all the shelves down. Got Elmer tucked in the corner up here. Problem with all the boxes is I need stuff storage built or um, put back together so that I can get it into. Um, got some new units. I've got another one for them to build. Um, a new. Got the best lighting in here. That's on the list. A new tool chest here. Um, that was a Christmas present. So it's been sitting in boxes waiting to get unboxed for this very day. So as you can see I'm challenged to space. What I've done yesterday is I've done a, a little drawing of what fits where and um, if I'm sensible about it then I'll fit basically Eleanor, Ed and Poppy who's outside at the moment uh, all in here and have good workspace as well. So, this area here is what I'm going to focus on first. I'm going to get Elmer slightly moved, or we are going to get Elmer slightly moved, um, and I'm going to get some stuff moved to the back of here and just start building from the back. These shelves up the top I may use or I may not, but they're not getting in the way at the moment. So, yeah, I'll see if I can use them for storage, and if not then they'll come down. 
I've trialled a few different locations they put in all the different bits, still none I'm happy with. So I'm going to clear a bit of space, I've still to build the other one of this. Um, and I've emptied the camper van today, so I did have a bit of space, and now, <laughs> yeah. So I think all of this and some of this is going to go right above my head up there to get me some more space to get this shelving unit somewhere. Um, because I'm tripping over everything. There is space. Not as much on that side, but yeah, I'm um, getting there. This storage up here is great. Got a lot of stuff up there. A few more bits and pieces to go up there, then I can start getting um, shelving things organised and I can start getting all these things unpacked and stored and back to these. Got another few hours in the garage today and I've got now the layout I'm happy with. So shelving along here, filing cabinets there, desk there. Um, I had lots and lots of different variations I didn't like, both practically and both how they looked. Now it gives me the space to work that I need that I'm not going to trip over myself and it's going to be the best space. As you can see, I've just started getting um, some boxes unpacked and I now need to get rid of all this. So yeah, progress. I decided to keep this shelf up here because it's not gonna get in the way of anything. It'll be good for storage, which also gives me space up here. Got space everywhere, which is great, but as we all know, I'll fill it. Another quick update, about six hours after the last one, um, and you can see the cars out air in, cars are now empty, they were filled with stuff. This is to go up here. Shelves are a bit more stocked. Nearly, nearly there. Um, I'm just going to get rid of this, get the cars manoeuvred about in the different positions because they're obviously going different areas in the garage. But yeah, the work is paying off and I've thought about this for so long. I'm nearly back, back to full capacity. It's been a while. Ten minutes later, look at the space. Albeit Ed and Poppy's not in here, I need to go in there, but I'm getting there. <laughs> Keep saying that. Um, wall art bits and pieces here, and one box now. This isn't just the last box of the garage, this is the last box of the house and it has been a journey. So <laughs> all I have to do now is pick mainly this wall I think is where everything's going just to make it look a bit homely. Not much room up there apart from the number plates possibly there. Got to a halt today because of repairs needed to the daily. Yep, I'll explain the noise. So yep. But, being able to repair it in a garage and not looking over your shoulder at the um, clouds and the weather is a novelty for me.
So it's taken a lot of work, but the garage workshop is um, workable. I've got access to all my tools that I've not had access to for months. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff ongoing. Um, I'm going to be getting upgraded lighting, upgraded electrics to run the spot welder. I have to do things with cars to get things manoeuvred about, so it's ongoing and I'll be getting more tools in to what space I can fit in. So, all exciting stuff really. Um, <clears throat> it'll be quite interesting to watch this back in years to come. And uh, for those of you who interested, I hope you got something from it. Again, no car content. It's about me getting back to the stage where I can work on cars. <clears throat> so, going forward, I said in the last video, still got lots to do in the house. But I want to get back into the cars as well. Back into Eleanor, build up the front end, back on the jig, spraying the underside. Ed, that I'm sitting on, not running great, so I'm going to check all the vacuum pipes. Um, and all that to get them ready to get out and enjoy the sunny weather, albeit it's raining and sun. Um, camper van, the high top roof needs to come off so I can get that in the garage to work on. Not looking forward to that job, don't know why, but yeah. So, lots of plans, um, and they all start here, New Year, as I said before. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!